Five of them are currently trading as units, and then five of them have not yet traded. So, of course, units include the common share and the partial warrant. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Some can get these shares then at less than net asset value. As we're seeing, most warrants trade for around $2 or more and premiums. I will note units cannot be purchased on some exchanges, including uh, Robinhood and Webull. So it depends on what you have for an exchange, whether or not you can get into these units. Otherwise, keep an eye for when they split and common shares and warrants are available. So up first in those units that I want to talk about, we have symbol L-E-G-O-U. This is Legato Merger. So they are targeting the renewable infrastructure and energy segments. So it's definitely worth noting the team behind this SPAC completed several deals years ago. So before the SPAC boom, and most of those deals have turned out you know, negative, where those shares are now trading under $10. But for anyone who's followed the SPAC market or gone back and looked, we know that today is a different time than it was before. So even the the Eagle team that brought DraftKings and Skills Public had a couple mergers years ago that now trade under $10. So the thing I like most about this unit is it actually includes a whole warrant. So nowadays you're seeing these groups go bring their second or third SPAC deals public and they drop the amount. So say that first one offered one third of a warrant, their next one offers one fifth. And some groups are even getting down to one eighth of a warrant or no warrant at all. And here you have a group looking for possible redemption, offering a full warrant with shares. So if you buy units, you're going to get a common share and a warrant. And as we know, warrants trade for around $2 right now across the board. So you're actually looking at getting a common share that's going to be $10 and a warrant that could possibly be $2. So you've got $12 value and you have these units trading, you know, ten twenty. So full disclosure, I am long shares of LEGO. I think this is one of the greatest values out there as far as looking at net asset value. So, of course, there's the risk that the team has had some bad deals. But if you talk about that $10 price point and the free warrant, I think this is a good risk reward situation. And then up next, we have NSTBU. So this is Northern Star 2. This is one we talked about on the show before. It's including one fifth of a warrant with those units targeting beauty, wellness and e-commerce. So it's the former editor in chief of Cosmopolitan and us. Joanna Coles. Their first deal for Northern Star One is bringing Bark, parent company of BarkBox public. That was a well-received deal and it was rather fast moving as the deal was done when Northern Star One was still trading as units. So I think for some of these private companies looking to get a deal done fast, why not turn to the, the company that completed the fastest SPAC deal out there, you know, if you're in that industry. So this is one I'm definitely watching. Um, we're right around the $10.50 range right now. Um, so this is one to put on your radar. Again, those units currently trading. Up next, we have Science Strategic Acquisition, SSAAU. So those include one third of a warrant targeting direct to consumer or mobile and social entertainment. So Michael Jones, the former CEO of MySpace is behind this SPAC. I like those industries that they're targeting. Again, mobile um, apps, social gaming, all that stuff has been hot and high growth. I think they land a good deal here. And this is one I'm definitely watching. So turning back to some of those new SPACs here, we have Bright Lights Acquisition, BLTSU. So that includes half of a warrant. This one is targeting consumer media, entertainment, and sports. It has the singer Sierra, also has Peter Goober, who's the chair and CEO of Mandalay Entertainment and was the former CEO of Sony Pictures. You know, so strong interest there in movies and music. I like that management team and I love the fact that it's a half of a warrant. You know, so keep an eye out on this one. And then we have Class Acceleration, C-L-A-S-U. Um, trading as units now, those also include half of a warrant. So Michael Moe is the founder of this SPAC. He is the co-founder of GSV, which is now Suro Capital, symbol SSSS. So I see LASU, so just finishing up there. So GSV co-founder Michael Moe behind it. They're looking at ed tech, so education technology. And I will note, so Suro Capital, which he founded, owns stakes in Coursera and Course Hero, two privately held, you know, ed tech plays 
that are rumored to be doing IPOs soon. So keep an eye out on CLASU here.